How would you, on paper, what would, what would you describe it as? Lights, something about temperature, water, no water, get to bathe, don't get to bathe, dogs barking, music, lights, regularity, I don't know man, I'm just saying, these are very good people, you definitely want to metastasize with them. Or maybe, maybe you can't yourself. And, you know, that's fine. Why don't you, uh, here's their donation links and their department resource hotline. And well, why don't you just talk to uh, the appropriate channels, the permit to get a permit to get a permit to get a permit, permitters. Uh, they're expert tree trimmers, yes. And also expert uh, litter preventers or picker uppers. And uh, <laughs> was it true the news I heard about the garbage fires? Was it last year? 2020? 2019? Um, I think it was 2019, late 2019 or some shit like that. Uh, summer. Um, yeah, I think 2018. Uh, I read several articles about um, some garbage fires that went out of control. Oh no, people died. Well, you see, that's what happens when people like me say, hey, can you put out the garbage fire? And, and Home Brownie says, Puto, you know what, you're right, I'm going to put this shit out. It's bad for their health and community and it's a little dangerous because it's not what you're supposed to be doing with the garbage. And it doesn't cost me that much to just dump it properly. And But I got a party and I don't want to be late in La Chela and La Berga. Kick him in the head. I'm a police. Why you not answer the simple question? I ask you a simple question because I don't know how to ask complicated questions. All I know how to do is have complicated intentions of always getting in my way. Answer the question. Don't you see I got a bash? Puto. Berga. Anyway, so I heard people died, so I hope they uh, tasted good. Wait, no, we don't do that. We don't do that. That's bad. It's bad. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is good. But that's bad, right? It's confusing being around good people who choose to do good things. Daily, daily. That's that's how you that's how you metastasize. You do good things. Well, anyway, I don't want to bother anyone. You know, and it sounds it sounds like the loudest of the shit is, uh, you know, a little less pneumatically rattling, clapping. Slap, slap, thing. <sighs> yeah, they're not, they're not going anywhere. Nothing's gonna happen to them. They're gonna be there. Probably outlive me.
I wanted to go. No, that's not the one. I'm pretty sure it's the other one. It's the first one. Here we are. We're not good. We're not good. Am I gonna get a copyright flag for that? Some DMCA? Nah, I'm not that good. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm sure the problem got dealt with. Bat boy, taxi man. Taxi rider, bat boy. Definitely. Got locked up. His, his assets were repossessed. His power of attorney was what kind of sane person? <laughs> right. Bat boy is free to fly with. All the other flying boys and girls forever and ever and ever. Um, because even if one has to take it for the team, at this point, I mean. How do you how do you linearly count backwards from a cumulative problem? One that compounds every step you go forward. If you never stop going forward in the same direction. Kicking head, boys. There's the kicking head diabetes piglets. No, good people, good people. Dude, I, I, I've got so much unused, uh, unused insult vouchers. No, I mean. Compliments. They're only good people who do only good things, and if they ever insult me, it's because I deserve it. Treat people how they deserve. I don't fuck. Oh, that one I got on recording. That one's on camera. <laughs> it's right here. I don't fuck. All right, Peggy Hills. Uh, freaking. What's it? Daughter-in-law. I don't fuck. Yo soy la oficial Hector de la Cruz, uh, Radio Terrorism. Tejero. <sighs> no. The illusion of 
like just this door even when they've already broken it smashed it they just peer in from wherever right they've already jumped on the roof I'm just getting a ball yeah why are you looking at my window then man Get your ball, get your frisbee, get the fuck out, right? I mean, you could have waited. I don't think it's life-threatening you lose your frisbee. Oh, the cackling. I don't remember if I had on recording. I wish there wasn't so many of these recordings. Like, if this had to be, like, couldn't it have all been lumped up into, like one or two little events there's so many events that i don't have them all recorded and the ones that i don't even remember not like which one is it the cackling it's almost psychotic cackling i was like you could have killed my cats and they just cackled and then i go back inside love co i was like what the fuck you almost killed these cats and then when they dumped that cat that was like starving dying right here Like, like I really, it's all summed up when I trip, I fall, and instead of helping me up, they jump in to try to, try to suck or dribble my head. I get up, and then they, they keep punching, trying to knock me down. Hey, you, you didn't knock me down, I tripped. That's why it's not working. You can't. You, I don't know if it's the angle or your size or, or something. You, it's not happening again. I tripped and I, I left that slipper behind that flip flop or whatever the fuck. So I'm not tripping again. Lovely fun times. Yeah. So, oh, and then when they dump that cat. I think they have no qualms about killing black cats around here because, like, so many of them are religious or something. So they killed that cat who was being friendly with me and the other cat that I was taking care of. And um, I'd been feeding it, and then it just goes missing. And I don't see it for, like, a week or less or something. And then I go out there, and I check on the cactus patch. This cat is just rotting there. It's got a hole on its side, and there's maggots crawling out all out of it in, on the underside and, like, eating away at it. I'm like, oh, fuck, this stinks. And, um, like, oh, my God, like, just the smell of it. Like, how did people not do anything about it? Uh, well, I can tell you why. Well, I can tell you possibly why, not definitely why. But for the very f same fucking reason that, you know, they do do something should I step outside the door to cut a little tree branch or plant a little tree. It's their choice and prioritization of attention. They can kick me in the head and I can be dripping blood. The cops will drive up and they'll be like, hey, did you bother diabetes, Longcus? No, it's not fat shaming. Listen, listen, you, you need to take off your fucking privileged, politically correct blinders, like, okay, I'm sorry, she, she's, she's fat, and I'm fat shaming, okay, so, so if I say she's a fucking psycho sociopath, along with so many, am I, uh, being ableist against the sociopaths who are just mentally handicapped? Handy capable, like, come on, get fucking real, man. People have tried to fucking kill me, and like, every it's like fucking children that want some sort of weird ass fuckery, man. And I can't, I can't, I can't do shit. I can't, I can't effectively do shit. It's not like, well, it's only gonna get so far. In the, uh, had one of those, the same force, had one of those kicks landed on the side of my head and my temple. I'd be dead. Just one of those. Like, just one of those, man. I'd be dead. Fucking embolism type shit. No one says. Um, neighborino. <sighs> Similarly, when I was back in Comedas in the edit, that blow with the pole 
to my head would have killed me. And I had to choose. Do I want them to break my hand? No. Do I want them to break my arm? No. I don't have much time. If I duck, it risks I still get hit in the head. And even easier. So, at least try for a leg block. Oh, leg's broken. Hobble around for a week before you realize it's really broken. And it really hurts. And then, oh, and then the judge. Oh, hey, I have that video. I've been hesitant to publish that one because it has literally the town judge on it <sighs> basically telling me I need to go around unarmed or else there's nothing they're going to be able to do should somebody kill me or, or close to or close to I, I should be lucky if close to because then they can't do anything because it looked like I could defend myself and I brought it upon myself. The fuck, man? Sorry, this dragged on for a while. It's about an hour long clip now, but I hope it embodies. And also, let's you know, I'm gonna. I, I'm thinking I should publish that, especially now that. I mean, come on. A fucking town judge saying that if it looks like I can defend myself, they're not gonna defend me. Well, that's lovely. Usually it's the other way. If it looks like it was self-defense, you add more defense to. Which is why they all claim that they can use self-defense to basically attack me, assault me. Like, how many of these situations could have been just like resolved if it was really one-on-one, -on -one, just like a little... You, you want to fight? Okay, let's go to the fucking ball court right here in the fucking street, just one-on-one. -on -one. You, your buddies aren't going to back you up. It's just one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, oh, you want you want to pick up a rock? Okay, then I'm going to pick up a rock. A and it doesn't escalate beyond that. And it ends right there and then. But no. Fucking zombies. I wish I could... I wish I could return the force that they've used against me. Oh, and then, and then I could laugh. <laughs>